Hey guys, what's going on? So I'm here and welcome to another aquarium <coughs> Oh Jesus, I'm sick. Welcome to another aquarium video. In this video, we are gonna be doing an update on my 20 gallon saltwater tank because I haven't done one in forever. <laughs> So in this video, we're just going to be discussing some of the new stuff I've gotten, if anything's gone wrong over the past few months, because I haven't talked about this tank in quite a while. So first and foremost, I got a bunch of new coral, and I'm pretty sure I haven't shown off any of it. So what we're going to look at right now is the Fire Torch Coral. This is my absolute favorite coral of all time, just because it's so wavy and awesome. And I've wanted one of these for so long, and I decided that I was just going to buy a frag because it was on sale, I did it, and it's doing great. I've had this thing for about a month and a half to almost two months, I think, and I haven't had any problems with it at all. It's been great. I love it. Next up, we have the Acan Coral Frag. Uh, these are pretty much Zoa looking corals, and uh, I got it for about 20 bucks. Um, and they're just on a clamshell. It's really weird. So pretty much the placement idea I have here is I place them up against two rocks, hoping that as the polyps grow, they will connect to my other rocks and start spreading on the rocks because I ideally I want these to be live rocks but I also want them to be kind of covered in like zoas and these acan frags which are absolutely awesome they're doing great there's a ton of little growth on it which is absolutely fantastic and I love it the final new coral that I have got is the zoa rock now this rock is very big and very heavy and there are a lot of Zoas on it, and I only got this for 30 bucks. This rock is awesome. It's got a bunch of brown, orangey color Zoas, and also the green one. So again, I placed this up against the rock, hoping that they will connect to the rock that was originally in my tank, and I just want this stuff just to take over. I love the way the Zoas look, and it'd be nice if they could start taking over so I could actually start fragging them too. I think that would be kind of cool. So yeah, I got this rock for 30 bucks. This is about like a three pound rock with like a so many little zoas. These ones are doing absolutely fantastic as well and I've had no problems with it. So now we do actually have a coral death-ish thing. If you guys remember me talking about it, I had a salt crash a few months back and unfortunately my hammer coral never recovered. Uh, it's really weird when the lights are out, it kind of opens up to nowhere near what it was before, but it does open up. And whenever I turn the lights on, it just goes back into hiding. I don't know what's going on with it. Uh, ever since the salt crash, it hasn't been the same and hasn't recovered, so I don't know. This is the first coral casualty I've had, so not a huge deal. So for the final thing that I've added into the tank, I added a Bankai Cardinal. Why did I add this fish? Because he looks cool. His name is Banjo, and I don't care if you don't like him. I think he's awesome. So I added this guy in there only because, actually, I went to go get water for my tank because I go to my local fish store to get pre-made water. And my mom's like, I like that fish, I'm buying it. So I was like, okay, whatever. So put him in the tank, he's awesome. Uh, apparently they're aggressive. I have had literally no aggression issues. Possibly because I have less rock covered than ideal for these guys. So it's keep him kind of on his toes and he has to attack nobody. But somebody in the tank has been getting a little aggressive. So my six stripe wrasse has been getting a little bit aggressive and it's been getting pretty bad. Uh, he pretty much beats on the firefish because they like to hang out in the same tank or in the same cave. Sorry, obviously they hang out in the same tank because I only have one saltwater tank. So they all, they both sleep in the same cave at night and the wrasse does not like it. So usually during the day, if I don't feed them, in the morning and at night he gets a little aggressive and starts attacking everybody and that's not good I am not a fan of aggression I'm okay with a little bit of aggression like you know kind of like hey back off but when it comes to like I'm gonna rip you apart and hope you die not a fan of it so the way I combated this is I taped a mirror to the side of the tank I taped my mirror right beside the cave they are at and I left it there and that seems to have fixed the problem he no longer fights anybody except for himself in the mirror, but he's not stressed out enough that he doesn't leave the mirror. He always leaves the mirror and goes off to do something else, and he'll come back every once in a while, flare up at the mirror going, hey, yo, what's up? Like, get out of here. And then he'll leave and go do some other stuff. So it seems to have worked. Um, I might try it 
on a different tank just to see if I can uh, avoid aggression in my angelfish tank, see if maybe a mirror works there, and then I can make a video on it. The mirror just kind of made sense to me because I've kind of figured out that fish have no idea about like sense of self. Like they know what species they are and they know what the species look like, but they have no idea what they look like. So it's one reason why a beta flares up in a mirror because it doesn't know like, hey, that's me. It just thinks, hey, it's another beta, I gotta kill it. So it seemed to work on my tank. If you're having aggression issues in your tank, just give it a shot. Just tape a mirror to the side of your tank for a while and see if it works. I've had success with it. Uh, the RAS hasn't attacked anything for two weeks. Ever since the Cardinal came in, there's been no issues. So I don't know. It seems to have worked and I'm pretty happy about it because I'm not a fan of rehoming my fish. So other than that, everything's been great. I haven't lost anything in this tank. All the fish are growing really well. The corals are doing pretty good except for the hammer coral. Everyone's eating well. Everyone's getting along well now that I put the mirror up. Uh, the shrimp's doing awesome. The crab's not messing up anybody. It's been great. It's been really great. Oh yeah, I also have a baby starfish now, so that's pretty cute, isn't it? So anyways, guys, that's it for this update video. I want to thank you guys for listening to this whole thing. I know I sound really boring. It's because this is the only way I can really talk without coughing. So I'm really sorry for sounding boring. But if you guys want like monthly or bi-weekly updates on my fish tanks, I will gladly do that because I know a lot of you guys like my fish tank videos. So I'm thinking about doing bi-weekly updates on all of my tanks. So if you guys are interested in that, leave a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching the video. My name's Tom, also known as Flip, and I'll see you guys in the next aquarium video. Goodbye.